Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm going to take a closer look at the Bushmasters Whittler's Pocket Knife. Now I used this knife for about three hours and while it didn't quite meet my personal needs in the end, I thought it'd be valuable to share my experiences with everybody. Before I sent the knife back to Amazon, I spent a good amount of time using it in various tasks, carving, whittling, and seeing how it performs under pressure. I know a few of you asked to see more footage of me using the knife. I'm going to share some of that footage with you. So you can get a look at exactly how this knife works. Our log here. I just tried it out real quick to see how how well it cut. I have my straight blade. Taking pretty decent chunks out with the straight blade. The heartwood through the middle, this is a little bit tougher to cut through. Now I know I'm bringing the blade towards my person. It's not always the most advisable thing to do. I'm doing it really slow. I'm doing it with a lot of control. I have no concern that I'm going to cut myself here. I think I got a little bit of a knot right here on the end. Now as far as the grip for the knife, the knife in your hand is very comfortable. I have no complaints at all about the shape. And I'm still just using the straight blade here. It is friggin hot out today too. As we become a little smoother, get rid of all that chunky stuff out of the middle, it becomes a lot easier to carve, it becomes a lot nicer to carve as well. So I've just switched over to the hook knife. I think the hook knife is going to need a little bit more, more work on shaping the blade a little bit. I just don't feel like it's the right angle for me. I have it sharp enough. And we're certainly able to take nice chunks out. Part of it not cutting really nice right now is because it's not smooth. As it gets a little smoother, it becomes a lot easier as well.
I'm using the large gouge right now. It's doing a pretty nice job. The smaller one, I don't think I got sharp enough. Really not doing a very good job right now. I think it's just a matter of getting a little bit sharper. That's taking pretty decent sized chunks out of it, especially as we get that material a little bit nicer, a little bit flatter and a lot, a lot smoother. It does a lot better job taking that material out. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, I'm going to resharpen the hook knife, and I'm going to resharpen the small gouge on this as well. I'm not happy with how they're cutting, so I just want to make sure that they are working properly. The difference between the small gouge and the big gouge right now and how sharp it is, it's literally night and day. And same thing with the, uh, the hook knife. The hook knife will cut. I'm just not happy with how it's cutting, so I'm just going to go back, resharpen those, and I'll come back and play with this a little more. That might not be today, it might be later tomorrow. So what I did next is I spent about an hour and I resharpened the blades. They were certainly cutting fine, no problem at all. Where I started to run into a problem was about an inch, inch and a half into the wood. At that point, I couldn't angle the pocket knife at all enough to get in at the wood to carve it deeper. As a result of that, what I decided to do is turn this into a burn bowl and use some other tools to scrape that out and polish that a little bit better. Because I had so much trouble getting the blade into the right angle to be able to scoop the inside of that bowl out, which is one of the things I really wanted to be able to do with this knife, that was one of the determining factors of the reason why I decided to send it back. I was able to get it sharp enough for the most part, didn't really have any issues with how sharp it was. The blades could have stayed sharp a little bit longer. I've used other pocket knives similar to this that some of my friends have, and the edge retention is quite a bit better on their knives than what it is on this, but it's certainly adequate for the task that it was doing. At the end of the day, one of the biggest reasons why I sent it back was I was having so much trouble getting the inside of that bowl. I also wanted to make some cups and some other things with this knife. And because of the shortcomings on that angle, I wasn't able to get in the angle that I needed. That was the main determining factor with me choosing to send this back.